Hello everybody from the Hexes and Soldiers channel. I want to wish you all a wonderful and Merry Christmas. Thought we'd talk just briefly about the uh, soldiers, better known as nutcrackers, associated with Christmas. Why that might be, where they come from. If we take a look at that, we go to a story by E.T.A. Hoffman, where the uh, nutcracker sweet ballet is adapted from. I do recommend, if you haven't, Read this story. It, it doesn't take long. It's it's quite a delight. Uh, again, The Nutcracker by E.T.A. Hoffman. And if I could just read briefly from this. It states, Just at the moment, Marie spotted something that nobody else had yet noticed. At the back of the table was a curious little man standing quietly as if patiently awaiting his turn. He could not be called a handsome man, for not only was his rather stout body, body out of all proportion to his spindly legs, but his head was altogether too large for either. But it was clear that he was a man of taste and education, for he wore a hussar's jacket of beautiful bright violet with matching pantaloons and the neatest boots you ever did see. He also had on a somewhat clumsy wooden cloak and a woodman's cap. These last two made him look a little ridiculous, if the truth be told, but Marie remembered that Godfather Drosselmeyer's cape, cap and cloak were equally shabby, and he was still a dear godfather. In fact... The longer she looked, the more kindness and benevolence she saw in the little man's clear green eyes. <laughs> That's from E.T.A. Hoffman, when the little girl sees the nutcracker. So where do these things come from? <clears throat> How do they become associated with Christmas? Why soldiers at all? I we'll found a little thread here that I'll read from. This is not my um, <clears throat> conclusion, but uh, I thought I would share it with you guys as it seems feasible. It says, what is it with Christmas trees and figurines of, quote, Napoleonic, unquote, soldiers? Christmas trees are an old tradition, and while having a Christmas tree is a tradition in itself, there are many supplemental traditions, especially regarding their decoration. One, one such tradition is to decorate Christmas trees with figurines of soldiers, most commonly such wearing uniforms as seen during the Napoleonic Wars. But why is that? I tried to put together a potential explanation. In many countries, people are eating a lot of nuts during Christmas time. There are multiple theories on why that is. Some say it's because St. Nicholas handed out nuts and oranges as a treat. Others say that eating nuts during winter emerged from a pagan tradition that was later adopted into Christian celebrations. Anyhow, some of the nuts enjoyed during that time to be cracked open before they can be consumed. And in order to do that, many people get themselves a nutcracker. At the end of the 17th century, a very special kind of nutcracker emerged in Germany. Craftsmen started to manufacture so-called Nussbeiser, or nut biter, wooden figures whose mouth could be used to crack nuts. Those figurines typically depict authorities like kings, gendarmes, or soldiers. Since the Nussbeiser were especially useful during Advent, those nutcracking figurines eventually became a symbol of Christmas. In 1816, one year after the end of the Napoleonic Wars, Prussian writer E.T.A. Hoffman published The Nutcracker and The Mouse King. During that time, nutcrackers were unsurprisingly dressed in uniforms of the Napoleonic Wars. Hoffman's work might be a major reason why Napoleonic uniforms became a kind of dogma in the making of nutcracker figures. Hoffman also inspired the Russian composer Pyotr Ilyich Tchaikovsky to write the fairy ballet The Nutcracker Suite, which in itself further popularized nutcracker figures wearing military uniforms. It's very likely that those two works established the Napoleonic soldier, or figurine of such, as a part of the culture around Christmas. And it might be the reason why people at some point decided to hang Napoleonic soldiers on their Christmas tree. So what do you guys think? Sounds plausible to me. Um, I grew up with a number of these myself. Inevitably, one or two always ended up with a broken jaw. But was always fairly entertained by the little dudes. And there you go. So, again, I hope all of you have a happy, Merry Christmas. Hope Santa brings you everything you need. And uh, we'll talk again soon. You guys be safe and take care.